the Opopco Studios in Oklahoma City. You're watching an OSU update. I'm Jenny Carlson. Oklahoma State is getting fantastic production out of Charlie Moore, Cowboy wide receiver. He's largely forgotten about, though. John Helsley joins us on the phone, our OSU football beat writer. And, John, why is Charlie Moore forgotten about? You know, I think you have just so many uh, appealing options in this wide receiver group with Josh Stewart and Tracy Moore and some young guys like Juwan Seals and Brandon Shepard, Marcel Aitman. Those are the guys that really get your attention because of their size and their speed. And yet there's Charlie Moore who just kind of runs the good routes, makes big catches. His speed's a little bit deceiving, but uh, he's definitely been very productive for the Cowboys. Well, what is it meant to have him? Because like you say, he doesn't sort of fit in any, you know, superlative box. He's not the quickest. He's not the biggest. He's not, you know, all of those things. But to have him in as part of this receiver core, what has that meant to, uh, to Clint Shelf as the Cowboys have really gotten going offensively? I think he provides a real comfort to, uh, to Clint as far as a guy that you know you can rely on. You know he's probably going to be in single coverage. Uh, so, you know, if he can beat his guy, he's a guy that's going to be open. He's going to be a guy who will catch the ball and, and good things will happen. You know, he had a, he had a big touchdown in, uh, in Saturday's win over Baylor to, to put him up 14 to nothing and really get that thing started. And so I, I think that's it as much as anything. He's a comfort. Well, and I assume going into that Bedlam game against a, a Sooner secondary that at least last Saturday showed that they can be beaten, I would say having as many weapons like Charlie Moore to, to pair with these other guys could make Oklahoma State really a handful for the Sooners. Well, you would think so because, you know, it's, it seems like the passing game is improving almost weekly right now with, with Clint throwing the ball well and also, you know, these receivers – you know, starting to do their thing. Josh Stewart looked very healthy the other night after having a, a bummed up uh, foot. Um, you've got Tracy out there, and you've got Charlie Moore and some of these other guys who are there that can that can exploit uh, weaknesses. All right. Bedlam kicks off at 11 a.m. on December 7th in Stillwater. Be sure to stay with the best coverage team anywhere at newsok.com and every day in the Oakland.